those things. The horses, the horses love to do it. They're born and raised to do that. And if you've ever worked with a horse or ridden a horse at an event like this, you know how excited they get about it, and they want to do it for you. It's not like you're kicking them because they don't want to do it. You're just, you know, telling them how to do it, right? They love to do what they're doing, so it's it's not really cruelty in my eyes. News that uh, happens, but uh, stuff happens and shows that go on. We have this in England with the horse racing. Mm. Okay, yeah. Every time the horse is put How down, falling, everyone gets up. upset about it. Upset. Yeah. You took away a danger from everything. You never do anything like that, did you? So. Fair enough. Fair enough. We try to uh, we try to give them spaces and things like that. Because really yeah. sometimes you'll notice that uh, like this mare is really good, but some of them are are they'll have their bums to the the public and okay. things like this. And so if we're seeing you know that on a regular basis, we try it. Uh, I feel sensory overload as a human walking around this place. I could not imagine being That's an exactly animal. It. We understand now that only about 2% of our population in general actually have any direct contact with livestock on a regular basis. Uh, we're talking horses, cattle, sheep. Um, and so without that context, um, people don't know what these large livestock, what their health issues are, what their, what, how their behavior are, the things that they react to and respond to and in what way. And so we've got this uh, website called animalma.calgarystampede.com okay. and spell out and. Uh, um, and we, the whole purpose is to answer people's questions. If they have tough questions and they have curiosity questions. We're there to answer any respectful and you know curious questions that they may have. I don't know the yeah. answers, but the experts do, and I'll go sure. find them and I'll turn and them And a perfect resource for city slicker, city slicker like me that showed up. You're like, I watch those truck wide races. It looks stressful on the horses, but to get more information about the whole Absolutely. the whole spectrum and, and how maybe animals like to live and what their passions are, because uh, you the, know, and just like. Race. They really are, and in fact, the interesting uh, example to that is, I think in the second night of racing, we had an outrider that didn't quite make it on his horse because his yeah. horse wanted to race, took yeah. off on him. That horse just didn't take off, he raced. Yeah. He actually was passing other horses all the way along. He didn't need to be egged no on, rider. he didn't need no to be whipped, no rider. Wow. This horse, they have a natural competitive nature, just the way that a Labrador will go and chase a stick from the moment it walks. This uh, this horse wants to race, and it wants to beat the other race, the horses on the racetrack. So this horse was passing all the rest of the horses, and uh, yeah, even after the race, he continued to race against other horses until he was finally like, okay, whoa, yeah. Nelly. Got it out of my system. You got it out. Yeah. And they will do that actually in the field. You'll see the thoroughbreds, they're born to race. They will go out and race in the field. Um, it is, uh, it's really a remarkable thing. And just the way that uh, different breeds uh, have different subsets. We've got draft horses who are born to pull. And they're, they're work animals and they love doing that. We have animals, all horses love to buck because they don't really like riders until you get them used to it. Well, our horses in the stampede, the bucking horses, we actually encourage that and enhance that by making sure that they win every time out. The, horse, the cowboy always comes off the back, right. never gets right back on. Therefore, they learn, wow, I buck, he gets off my back, I win. And then they really trot around the arena and hold their heads high. Makes the show so much more exciting. Yes, it does. Wow. Yeah. So, again, you know, if you have questions, if you have concerns, yeah. we really we have the experts here. And here at Stampede, we have so many experts in so many different areas. So, no matter what your question is related to animals, related to our events, yeah. respectful and actually a question, not a rant, we are willing to take those questions and go and find you the answers.